lately we've noticed a few people coming to Longevity Nutrition um, and we all know that it's such high grade nutrition but these people have been through the, the whole cancer um, mill if you want to call it that they've had uh, you know uh, chemotherapy they've had radiation they've had multiple medications they get onto the high quality nutrients and and all of a sudden you know there's you know intense pain uh, they're having a really big reaction should we be taking them through some kind of a detoxification before they get on to? No, there should not have, there should be no pain when you get on a nutritional program, a nutritional supplement program. It's interesting that you'd say that the pain will come from the chemotherapy, not from the nutritional supplements. And this, that is a very important point. The more drugs you're taking, the more chemotherapy you're on, the more you need the nutrition. Sometimes people will ask, oh, well, should I be on these nutrients Will they counteract my drugs? The exact opposite is the case. And, and, and if you understand what we just talked about in the last 10, 15 minutes, you'll understand why. Drugs, what, do you, what, what part of the nervous system, which nervous system do you think the drugs activate? Do you think they activate the fear nervous system or the love nervous system? The fear. <laughs> yes, exactly. The drugs are a poison to the body. There's no drugs that are not a poison to the body. None. The very nature of drugs is that they activate a, the emergency response system in the body. Unless they're the kind of drug that artificially turns on the parasympathetic nervous system, there are some drugs that do that. But the toxin that gets into the body tells the body there's an emergency. This is why the number one side effect of prescription drugs is nausea and vomiting. That's the number one prescription, uh, number one side effect of prescription drugs. Why? Because when you put a drug in the body, the body's like, get the Satan behind me. Get out of here. I don't want anything to do with you. And it will throw it up or it will have, you'll have diarrhea because the body wants to get rid of that drug. Nutrients, on the other hand, are used by the body. Nutrients don't have to be eliminated quickly. Nutrients are something that gets incorporated into the body. Drugs don't get incorporated into the body. Drugs, in fact, when they give you a drug, they have to give you a much higher dose than the body uses because they know that the body is going to eliminate most of it. So the dose you take is much higher than the amount that you need to have to make up for the amount that the body is getting rid of. They have to give you extra. Nutrients are the exact opposite. Nutrients are all incorporated. They're assimilated. So when your body is working as it should, all the cells are going to take up your nu the nutrients. Your tissues are going to take up the nutrients. The nutrients are going, to be, are, are going to actually be used by the body. The drugs aren't like that. In fact, the drugs are going to cost you nutrients because nutrients run the detoxification system. So the more drugs you take, the more deficient you're going to be in the essential, the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Now, if you're already deficient, if you're already deficient because, and presumably you are because you're sick, so you need the drugs, now you're going to be extra deficient, which is going to mean you're going to probably need even more drugs. And that's going to make you even more deficient. You're going to end up with more drugs. You're going to end up with this downward vicious spiral. So the way you break it is when you're on your drugs, you make extra sure you're on the mighty 90 essential nutrients, all drugs when you're on a prescription program. Your number one goal, by the way, if you're on a prescription drug or a prescription, a bunch of prescription drugs, and many people are on multiple prescription drugs, your number one goal, health challenge, is to figure out how to wean yourself off that drug. And you don't want to do it, you want to tell your doctor you're doing it, you don't want to necessarily do a cold turkey, but you want to wean yourself off of it, and as you're weaning yourself off that drug, you take in nutrients, and one of the cool things about taking in nutrients is your body will use the drugs more effectively so you'll be able to lower your dose. So taking in nutrients while you're on your prescription drugs will make it easier for you to wean yourself off the meds. Now this is true about all medication, all chronic medication, but it's especially true if you're dealing with cancer because cancer puts, or a chemotherapy puts a major, major burden on the body's nutrient system and this is one of the reasons why chemotherapy is so toxic and so deadly to the body. It's because it puts a major, major drain on our nutrients. If you're already nutritionally deficient, now you're going to be really nutritionally deficient. If you're not, frankly, blatantly nutritionally deficient, it's going to drain the nutrients that you have. So while you're on your chemotherapy, it's critical that you take your, you take your mighty 90 essential nutrients. And when you're off your chemotherapy, you keep your mighty 90 essential nutrients. This is a little problematic because doctors don't like this. Doctors have this idea that if you take your mighty 90 essential nutrients, it's going to make the chemotherapy less effective because the chemotherapy is poison and the nutrients are anti-poison. 
So the doctors in their crazy logic think that because the nutrients are good for you, they'll keep the chemotherapy from doing their work, from doing its work. My personal opinion, everybody has to make their own opinion, is that is the most ridiculous, idiotic biochemical logic I've ever heard. The idea that you wanna keep the poison and not put, take the good stuff because it might counteract the poison. I say, the more drugs you're on, the more nutrients you need. Right, okay. Uh, so when they've been through the whole process and now they're out the other, other side of, of getting any of that uh, treatment, do they need to detoxify this system? Yes, it's always a good idea to detoxify your system if you're on prescription drugs, and there's lots of ways to do it. Having regular bowel movements is probably the best way to do it. Making sure that your liver is functioning correctly and you got enough bile. If you've had your gallbladder out, it's important that you make sure you're doing things like your ultimate enzymes. In fact, the ultimate enzymes for longevity, obviously they're for digestive and they're for digestion. They're called digestive enzymes, but they're also important for detoxification. They're one of the best detox supplements you'll ever take, the ultimate enzymes. The Fucoid Z is also a wonderful detoxification supplement. Anything that you can do to help facilitate bowel movements and digestive processing is going to be detoxifying. Your nightly essence is also wonderfully detoxifying. Uh, you can use bentonite clay or zeolite to detoxify. Algae and aloe are great detoxifiers. There's lots of ways that you can detoxify. Uh, one of the most important detoxifying elements is sulfur. So anything that has sulfur in it is going to be detoxifying. Stinky foods like, like uh, onions and garlic are wonderfully detoxifying. MSM sulfur, which you'll find in the Beyond Tang Tangerine, is detoxifying. One of my favorite detoxifying supplements is something called NAC, or NAC. It stands for N-acetylcysteine. In fact, NAC is so detoxifying that if you were to get it, go to the emergency room with, uh, with Tylenol poisoning, I think you know what Tylenol is, probably you may call it something else out there, but Tylenol poisoning uh, is one of the leading causes of uh, emergency room visits. They actually keep NAC in emergency rooms to, and they put it right into your blood to clean the liver out. You can buy NAC anywhere. I don't know if Yongevity has any NAC. I think they do have a couple products. I don't remember which products have NAC in them. But anywhere you can use NAC is a great detoxifying supplement. The Ultimate Selenium, by the way, is also a great detoxifying supplement. Lots of, lots of good detoxifying supplements that you can take in addition to helping the body clean itself out through the digestive system. Okay. We've got somebody on, on the phone. She can't get on to the call. So okay. She's just going to ask the question. Okay. Go ahead, Nolene. Hello. Thank you for your time. Um, I have had um, cancer twice, breast cancer twice, and I'm on um, uh, a, um, uh, anti, uh, anti, uh, antidepressants, uh, like I have panic attacks and anxiety and not sleeping well. Now I've tried taking um, Younger Jeopardy and um, I can't, I took it for one day, the whole of the digestive pack um, that was suggested and um, I can't keep it down, I, I have nausea um, just to take one tablet. I, I, my, my body's throwing the toxins out so much that uh, okay. I, can't, I can't take it. Okay. okay, a couple things. First of all, uh, your body is in a very, very weak posture at this point. And we were I don't know if you heard us talking about the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. You are big time sympathetic. Everything you're talking about is a sign of a body that's in distress. So what you got to do, when, when a body is that broken down, and it's probably been that way, if you had cancer twice, it's probably been that way a long time. And you've probably been doing the wrong, I don't mean this to sound mean or anything, but you've probably been doing the wrong things for a very long time. You have, to, you have to take corrective measures immediately. And the fastest way to take corrective measures immediately, in your, in your case, is to, be, is to figure out how can I turn on that parasympathetic nervous system? How can I tell the body to calm down? It's kind of like if you have a baby. You know, I, I'm looking at your pictures here. I think most of you guys have had babies or, or at least you've, you've been around babies. You know that if a baby is crying, you go to the baby, you rock the baby, you nurture the baby, you close the window if it's open, you remove anything in the environment that's freaking the baby. You, to, you, basically, you basically love the baby. Well, we have to begin to regard our bodies as our babies. And just like when a baby is crying, you love and you nurture the baby so that it doesn't cry. When we're sick, our bodies, our body slash baby is crying. 
Now, I can't see this woman on the phone, but I can hear it in her voice. Her baby body is crying. It's crying through the telephone. So this is a woman, I don't know if she's still on the line, who needs to be loving her body immediately, today. The fastest way to love your body, if you want to do it, you can do it right now, as soon as you have the phone, is do the SDR breathing. Also the hot water that we talked about, the body work that we talked about, certainly getting the nutrients in the system that we talked about, staying away from any problem foods that we talked about. All of these are going to be ways that you can calm, calm your body slash baby down. Love your, regard your body as if it's a baby and then love your baby. Now, the fact that you can't take the nutrients all at once is an indicator that your digestive system may be a little bit broken down and that's not surprising given the medication that you're on and the cancer. So what you want to do is you want to, instead of taking the Beyond Tang Tangerine pills, take, get the Beyond Tang Tangerine liquid and do very dilute solutions of it and drink it very, very slowly throughout the day. And you may, if you do too much, you may notice that you have some diarrhea or you may notice you have some digestive problems. Back off on the dose until you find a dose that's dilute enough that you can eat or that you can uh, drink with, without having problems. Also, if you do your ultimate, your digestive, uh, I'm sorry, your uh, Beyond Tang Tangerine with meals, you'll also, it'll also be easier for you to handle it. So do, but it's very important that you get it into your system because you're fun, probably functionally starving at this point. And by that, I mean, you're probably missing some very, very key nutrients that are going to be important for healing. And when that happens, the body is going to, it's already in distress. It's going to be maximally in distress. So it's really, really important that you get some nutrients into your system. Uh, if you can't, like I say, if you can't handle a big dose, at least a dilute dose of it, and then gradually uh, build your dose up. But there's so many things you could do. It would be hard for me to tell you every single thing to do, but they all generally fall under the heading of being very kind and loving to your body, whether it's through oxygenation, whether it's through muscle relaxation, whether it's through nutritional supplementation, or whether it's through simply avoiding problem foods. Even eating food in general, by the way, can be, it can be a stressful thing on the body. Even eating salads or eating what we call good foods can be stressful on the body if the body is really in a broken down state. So eating as little as possible, making sure you're doing your nutrients, your, your slow, deep rhythmic breathing, and then muscle relaxation, all in the name of keeping the body parasympathetic and loving, loving your baby slash body. You okay with that? No, and that's, that's for all yeah. cancer victims. We don't want to get off on the medical idea of healing cancer or curing cancer. What we want to do is we want to help people feel stronger. We want to help people feel better. Curing is in the realm of medicine. And that's why they tell you there's no cures because there's no cures in medicine. Forget cures. Forget your diagnosis even. Our job is to help our clients and to help ourselves and help our friends and our family members feel better, feel stronger, have more energy, be able to get out of bed with joie de vivre, with joy for life, be able to sleep well, be able to have fertility and, and creativity and libido and good functioning and a good digestive system. Forget curing the cancer. Forget curing the multiple sclerosis. Forget curing the diseases. Our goal is to help the body feel strong. Once the body is strong, the body, through the divine force, will take care of the cancer, will take care of the osteoporosis or the autoimmunity, whatever the disease is. Our job is to make the body feel stronger and better. Great. Thank you very much. Is, is there any point in, de in, in detoxing um, before I um, take... Are you, on, are you still taking drugs now? Are you still on the chemotherapy? No, I'm not on chemotherapy anymore. I'm just on anti -pain. Get yourself... Yes, I would be using bentonite clay, chlorophyll. You can get chlorophyll in a health food store, bentonite clay. The Fucoid Z from Longevity, a great detoxifier. Take your ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach. If you take your ultimate enzymes with food, they'll help you digest your food. But if you take them on an empty stomach, they'll help you detoxify. Okay. Make sure you're having regular bowel movements. If you're constipated, you've got to work on that. Uh, magnesium is a great laxative. Also grinding up fresh seeds, fresh flax seeds in a little coffee grinder and doing okay. a couple teaspoons in water every day. Uh, that can also be very detoxifying. Green tea is also wonderfully detoxifying. Mm -hmm. uh, herb called turmeric, you probably heard of turmeric. That's a great detoxifier. Yeah. We've, got, we've got turmeric in several of our products. Anything with turmeric in it will help you detoxify. And mm -hmm. aloe vera. Oh, right, aloe vera. What about bentonite clay baths, bathing in bentonite? Bentonite clay baths, absolutely. But eating, drinking bentonite clay, taking a spoon of bentonite clay, putting it in water, drinking it down once a day. Charcoal also 
is a great detoxifier, activated charcoal. Oh, that's wonderful. Pro, uh, nightly essence probiotics, don't forget that. Wonderfully detoxifying. Very important for the gut and for the liver, for the intestine and for the liver. And once you do the detoxing, does that help to get you into that, um, that um, state of being, you know, looking, taking you know, care of yourself? It makes yes. It <laughs> yes. There's two things that only two things that cause distress in the body. Only two things: the wrong stuff getting in and the right stuff not getting in. Yeah. You put the right stuff in, you keep the wrong stuff out. I'm all about simplicity, and that simplifies it. The right stuff is the mighty ninety essential nutrients: quality food, quality emotions, quality thoughts, quality spirituality. The wrong things is the wrong foods. Uh, the wrong kind of thoughts, the wrong kind of uh, emotions, the wrong kind of spirituality or, or lack of spirituality. It's just in and out. The right stuff getting in, the wrong stuff not. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. It really is that simple. I, you know, we, ha we have this idea that medicine is so complicated. It's, it's as simple as the wrong stuff getting in and the right stuff isn't <laughs> when we're sick. Yeah, I understand. Thank you very much.